Testing, testing, one, two. All right. Hello, everyone. Murasaki here. Welcome to the lab 33. We've got 26 people entering. And coming up for winners round one, we have Scope against Grasslover. This is Grasslover's first event in quite a while, so it'll be interesting to see how well he does today. Swap around the players. Yeah, your player one scope. Yeah. No, not swap seats, just change. Yeah. Alright, oh, Grasslover going Joker. Not seen his Joker in action before, so I'm quite intrigued to see how it's going to pan out. And we're off to Green Hill Zone. Classic Sonic music. Final destination stage for format. Nice start here from Scope. Lover looking to return the favor, which he's pretty much done so. I'm interested to see who's gonna have the better state control of the two. As well, you can keep one one pressured by ledge more often as well. Oh, bit of luck there. Oh, just missing a bit unfortunate. Not sure about that kind of recovery, but. Ross will take it, because he's back on stage. Maybe Force Smash could be good for Joker for fainting if, if he wasn't that close to scope. Whoa, I can't believe that. The jab actually beat Captain Falcon's up there. And that's a good read on Scope's get-up option. Ross offered with the advantage. I'm interested if Grass Lover will go for more risky off-stage off -stage games when Arsene is out, because I think that's when Joker becomes a lot more stronger. With Arsene, Scope retaliating with the spike. Nice little mix-up approach with the full hop. Although dashing back and forth at Scope's perspective doesn't seem to be doing it much favors. Oh, almost another spike. But Grass Lover, not sure if he saw that coming or not, but he managed to get back to stage and avoiding it. I used, I think, I do think the knee was going to connect, even if he inputted the second pop. Grass Lover can use distance very well. Seems to understand the basics of playing Joker, more or less. Just a simple rollback to give Scope the advantage. Scope's hoping that Gross, Gross Love recovers predictably a lot so he can land some more spikes. Because you see him going for a few down air spikes, and he landed one so far, which was nice. But now the pace of the game is slowing down just out of range for Gross Lover. Otherwise, I think that would have landed the forward smash. Kicks him out of this into the sky. Uh, I think Ross Love is for the most part just gonna be patient if he's struggling to take a stop. Oh, that's a disgusting footstool. Unintentional, but Ross Love will take it. Oh, 
Lots of full hopping from Scope. I'm not sure if he wants to short hop or not, but either way, he's trying to bait Ross up to approach. But it's had an opposite effect because he's getting punished. Oh, Ross on the Lover doesn't spot dodge a lot. He disadvantaged a lot of sense. I think Grasslop is approaching a little bit too aggressively when Arson is out, so he can just hold back if he wants to. Oh, just lands a forward smash on his get-up option, just in range, and because Arson was out, that is 1-0 to Grasslop. A good start for him. Okay, we're off to game two. FD again, but this time just good old regular FD. Since it was Scope's choice. Nice to see other series being used now and then. And Grasshopper off to a decent start. Oh, but he can't give up, but he can't give up advantage that quickly, especially against a volatile character like Captain Falcon. Scope can pull off some good converts as well. And again, I just don't think Scope's method of full hopping all about the place is working effectively, because I think Joker... Sorry, I think Joker overall as a character in this matchup can counteract it hard, and good old last encounter. Oh, we'll try to use it again, but just not at the good time. Yeah, Scope is pretty much just playing a jumpy playstyle, which can throw off the opponents because they would try to follow them and try to punish them accordingly. But Grosslov has done a good job in counteracting this playstyle and just seems to be landing punish landing whip punishes at the right times. Oh, just caught him out there. I couldn't even edge up. I don't think the speed of the knockback was slow enough for Grosso to air dodge to safety. All right, all right. That was a great start from Scope. Just like that, Scope back in the lead. Quite impressive from Scope's perspective to swing the momentum back into his place. That's looking good for Grass, but he doesn't seem to be too willing to go off stage. Played with Arsene. However, everyone plays differently, so if he prefers to stay on the ground, I don't blame Grass Lover. Just do what you do best. And we got a game three now. And, it's, and, it all came, and it came from the unanticipated, well, not unanticipated, but the brilliant fast second stock that Scope did on Grasshopper. So we are now heading into a game three scenario. They're sticking with FD again. And they're heading off to Town and City. Oh, they've gone for regular Town and City. My bad. Falcon. Again, Falcon and Joker. I think if, I think Ross Lover should maybe take a risk or two going off stage with Joker as Arsene. Because Arsene, because he can recover very high. So if he gets spiked at low percent, he can still make it back on stage. Keep it at distance for the most part. Just caught him there with the up air. Scope for the most part making the commitments to approach, not with punish now and then. But it's Grasslava who's getting the heavier punishes. Normal or whip punishes. 
Good patience from Scope. Getting himself a free grab. Oh, he thought he's going to recover low, but that's a good mix-up recovery from Grass. Almost kills. Maybe a bit of desperation on Grass on this part with the throw throwing out the smash attacks. Okay, Grass Lover did risk going off stage there, but it was when Austin pretty much left. And the back edge just had enough speed on the knockback to take out Grass Lover's first stop. Just missed the side B, but he gets that one. Grass Lover's, have, Grass Lover's um, methods of getting a disadvantage just seems to be quite predictable. Okay, so we got the force smash hit with Arson. Don't think Grass Lover is taking full advantage of abusing, abusing Arson's Arson in this matchup. Oh, just missed it down there, but it lands an upbeat. Oh, -ho -ho! that was crazy. Now I'm not sure if Scope got the two frame or Grass Lover did not have invincibility frames when he grabbed the ledge there. But Scope will take it. Arson out again, but Scope doing the right things to counteract Arson. That was good. Just baiting out Cross Lover to come in with a back air. Oh, Scope better be careful not he doesn't throw out too many hitboxes. Or oh, he went for the up B. But he but he landed on stage too fast for the last hit of up air to set Scope flying. And a pretty much straightforward punish for the landing. 2-1 to Scope. Very nicely played from Scope. Picked up the momentum and punished him heavily. So well played to Scope.